M P K Hobby R C. Natural for humans under the age of fourteen. Hey guys, I'm M P K, and this is my R C hobby. So, I did say that I had some uh, small scale tugs in the post. This guy is actually 132. So I was thinking, I've got some 132 scale trucks. Be pretty cool to maneuver uh, a tug into the water and have him drive away. So that's, wow. I would have preferred if he was 150 because, you know, I, I, I did order a bunch of 150s tugs, but I could never find uh, such a small guy. I mean, this company, uh, Key Model, I mean, they do make uh, 150 scale tugs, but for some reason I can't find any in this country, the country within the Alps in the center of Europe. I'll let you guys figure out where that is. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do like a little unboxing quickly. And then I'll give you guys a little update on my other tug projects and boat projects. Cool. Let's, uh, let's start by opening up. Just a quick disclaimer. We just turned on the washing machine and it's storming. It's got a little thunderstorm outside. So if you hear any bangs, washing machine or thunderstorm. <laughs> Without that, with, with that out the way, let's unbox. Obviously I've opened the box, but I haven't taken anything out of the box just yet. So this, this tug, I was going to say ship, but this tug is uh, only about 30 centimeters, what is it exactly, like 30, 32, 35 centimeters long. Uh, it's a harbor tug. Um, it's like, a yeah, I've seen a video of it uh, driving in Germany. Um, it's basically, yeah, a mooring tug. It says it right there. <laughs> it basically, uh, parks, all the big boats come into the harbor. So it's like a work workhorse of the harbor. I'm thinking this should be pretty cool. I mean, it comes with motor and servo. The ESC and battery you have to provide yourself, but that's obviously not a, such a problem for someone in, in the hobby who probably has more than one lying around. All right, let's quickly unbox and see what's inside. Oh, well that oh it's come out. That's pretty cool. The uh obviously it's made for RC so the hole's already been drilled. Oh man, it's quite tight in there. Getting the getting the servo arm and everything to to align might be quite tricky. So I was actually I ordered this first, and I was actually hoping that this would arrive first, so that I could build this up first. But no, the uh, Holga arrived, so. 
yeah, I couldn't help myself. I think most in the hobby would do the same. But yeah, I would, I'm gonna build this guy next. It's pretty cool. All the detailing is already done. You probably just have to like paint her, well, obviously paint her up, put all the electronics in, do whatever detailing you want to do on top of that. Now let's see what else is in the box. Uh, these guys. I'm thinking that's probably for the railings. This is a 132, so it's going to be bigger than 150s. And then some sort of rubber stuff. I reckon that's to go around the front. That's sort of bumper. The uh, booklet. Some stickers there. Yeah, that's yeah, part of the booklet. This seems to be the stand, obviously, and all of the... Oh, I thought you had to, like, make these yourself, but it seems they've, they've all been laser cut. Just have to, like, paint them up. It's pretty cool. I imagine there's glass in there for the... Or, you know, plexiglass or some sort of plastic for the windows. Now, what's in this guy? It's kind of like a puzzle. Like, how do you open this? I could just get a scissor and cut it up, but I'm sitting here now, and whatever. Let's just brute force it. Or... Maybe be intelligent. No, let's get some scissors. <laughs> All right. So we have the motor. Small little guy. I think I might need to get some more of these because you know, obviously I've got loads of tugs coming so I need to figure out what this guy is and then uh, order up some more. A little heat sink and some bits and bobs. It's not a nine gram, I don't know. A little, little motor, uh, servo. Prop on oh, some metal bits, nice. These are metal. Prop and drive shaft. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh uh, no, I don't think so. I think these are just you know, fittings and stuff. This is pretty nice. Tiny little metal bits. The, uh, what's it called? Yeah. And the wheelhouse. Same, same thing. It's pretty nice. Pretty strong. I, I'm thinking that probably ABS or something. I think it's probably ABS. Probably sure. It's probably in the manual or in the buying description and stuff. I think I read ABS somewhere, but yeah. Pretty cool. Where's the hub? There, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's show you what I've been doing today. Today I had a pretty full-on uh, hobby day. 
and the day is still young. So I've done uh, a bit more glassing on uh, this side and the uh, stern. Uh, basically, the V drive is coming on Monday, so I wanted to get as much of this glassing done. Still quite a lot. I still have to do one layer here, one here, and then I was obviously thinking, you know, like normal boats, just put one down the middle, just to be safe. Once that's done, I can get on to like painting and stuff. Um, I've also started, well, started a while ago, but just glued everybody together, put some windows in. I realized the mistake, I should have put the windows after painting, but whatever, I'll just bask it all off and then paint it up like I usually do. But yeah, I started the superstructure of the 150 scale cargo ship. Nothing much, just seeing how it's going to look. I was actually thinking, you know, my one to, uh, no, one to 505 uh, cargo ship that I built while in lockdown. Maybe I'll just change the superstructure and change the size of the, uh, um, what's it called, containers. And then presto, I already have a ship. <laughs> we'll see. I know it's a cheat, but we'll see. I've also been working on this uh, 150 scale tug, Project Hoga. I'm going to be calling it Project Hoga from this point on. Um, so it seems it's actually a static model. Um, so it's not actually built to put electronics in or anything. Uh, it's just basically meant to be built and put there on a display case or something. So I haven't uh, planked it yet. I've just been trying to figure out where to place stuff, put a battery tray, or started building a battery tray, and that's probably where the ASC will go. You're probably thinking that's way too steep of a prop shaft angle. I know, but my idea is I don't want this wood to get wet. So, I put it not quite 45 degrees, like let's say like 30 degrees, something like that. And then I'm hoping no, not much water is going to spill in because that comes out above the water line. That's my thoughts. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. I've yet to do the um, servo setup, but yeah, it's a... Uh, I'm basically building the top first before I build a hull because I got to build all this stuff inside here first. But yeah, that's that. All right, so bear with me, guys. I just bought this thing. Obviously, I'm probably going to give it all the uh, pool toys. This thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. And maybe this thing away to like friends who have kids. Yeah. This thing, the palm tree, I was thinking I'll just tie down. And this is two, two meters 30 by two meters, two meters. So that's like what, like, six foot five by seven foot something like that so what i'm thinking is i mean like i need somewhere to test the boats out and i have a balcony big enough to put this thing in there it's basically i was looking for a paddle paddling pool like a kid's paddling pool 
And, you know, I didn't want to get one of the circle ones because theirs are tiny. So I was just searching and then I found this stick. And well, I don't, I don't need it to be very deep, like the water. Um, I need maybe like maximum 20 centimeters. Uh, that's like under a foot, like maybe like two inches under a foot, something like that. Um, like that's even too much. So I thought this guy and like I could probably put some foam bits around and try and make like a little harbor to maneuver my boats and learn how to maneuver the boats rather than learning while at the lake. I don't know, let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I stupid for buying? I mean, it, it was cheap. It was like, what? Under 50 bucks. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Good idea or bad idea on the kiddie pool? <laughs> so that's basically where I'm at at the moment. Uh, still building him, still building him, and well, I've just unboxed him, so I'm going to start building him too. <laughs> or should I be saying her, her, and her? Probably should be, shouldn't I? Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks, as always, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cool. Bye.